Hello and welcome back to Aeron's World. Now today what I want to do is prepare for the Enderman farm, which means that I've piled myself up with a lot of stuff and basically I want to prepare the ground for it. Um, I'll work on the actual design for the um, spawner later, but I've also loaded the ender chest with a load of stuff, including a spare ender chest. So let's get to the end. Hmm. Now the one problem is, is I would like to reset my spawn here because when you return through the portal, I believe you appear where last you slept, not necessarily where last you are. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let me grab. Let me grab some of that cobble, just for some. Uh, rough building. And let's get to the end. Okay. Now, one thing I want to know is, if I fill up this room, what will happen when I try and come to the end? Will I appear on the surface, or will I die? <laughs> um, because I prefer it if I appeared up there rather than down here. But I'm not sure what will happen, so the best way to find out is to find out. Okay, so that's that room completely sealed. So, I want the spawner to be here. Um, by the way back, and 128 blocks straight up. That way it'll be like a sky spawner, and no Enderman will, uh, will be able to spawn around here. I may have to light up the top of um, those obsidian towers, but that I think would be it. So, um, let me have a look at this. I will grab that dragon egg at some point. Um... Why are you attacking me? Don't kill me! Right. Oh, oh you... Oh, that's so annoying. Should have made sure I had full health. I'm going to have to run back there now. Oh well, we're going to find out whether or not... Um, filling up that uh, that room means I'm going to appear and suffocate. I have this horrid feeling that, I, that I'm going to wish I'd grabbed a spare pick on the way. Uh, yeah, no spare pick there. Let's pop, pop in the village. Should I either have a spare pick or the stuff to make a spare pick? Oh, what I've got is three cobblestone, but no wood. Maybe there is wood in the fortress. There is no spare wood here. I really want to make a pick just in case I need it. Um, is there any wood here I can scavenge? No. Oh well, I'll find out. Interesting. It just empties the room. <laughs> so it looks like there's nothing I can do about spawning down there. All right now, where was I and where's my stuff? To put my armor on so I've got room to pick everything else up. Hmm. 
Hmm. What am I carrying now that I wasn't before? Three bits of cobblestone. Okay, give me a moment while I sort out all this. Okay, I don't see a diamond shovel there. Uh, but that could be because my diamond shovel recently ran out. Or it's because it's around here somewhere and I've not picked it up. Nope, doesn't seem to be here. Okay, I wanted to double check where the way in was. Because I want to make sure I build this thing I'm about to build on the correct side. Okay. Took me a while to find that. So, what I want is the way up to be on this side. I think I'd quite like this to be properly enclosed. Okay, I definitely didn't look at him. Why suddenly hostile? Suddenly and completely randomly. Do they not like me digging up their stuff? So I'm trying to make this even all the way round. Okay, so this should be four on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I need some form of entrance way. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to sort of build the base of a tower um, that's going to give me a nice protected place away from all these endermen that keep trying to kill me. Um, so I'll sort of go in there and then that will let me go all the way up to the top of the spawning grounds. What I'm trying to do is work out where I want the floor level on this. Okay, I think I want to put down one of these chests somewhere. Just so I've got somewhere I can offload all this. <clears throat> Probably going to want the wood. Ah, there's the shovel I was looking for earlier. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with a nice dark wood floor, because I think it will contrast nicely. Because this is a relatively colourless world, so having a nice... I don't want something too colourful, because I think it might clash, but this nice dark brown might be good. Out of habit, I want to make sure it's lit under there before I seal it up. Ah, I've trapped myself. I do like this stone, it looks really good. I think um, I want to start harvesting this stuff and using it for buildings uh, back in the main world. Okay, I've now forgotten which direction I was meant to be building this thing facing. Um, I think it was this way because I put that sort of nice step on it, didn't I? So where's the centre of this thing? There. Um, so we can have a nice three wide doorway, I think. 
whack a workbench down and make ourselves some stairs. I'm not sure how much I need here. Okay, that isn't too bad. So you can go straight in and leave if you want. Or my thinking is that at this point is when you can start going up. Now, I don't need a door here, but I do need it to be only too high. That way Enderman won't be able to wander in. Did I just look at him? No, I didn't. I think I got away with that one. So, let's secure this place. As usual, I'll think about putting in windows and stuff like that later. I like to get the basic fabric of the building in place, and then I go on to tarting it up. I want to roof this in half slabs, maybe, um, or possibly stairs would look good. We use a lot of stairs, though. I think I will just half slab it straight over, see what it looks like. Advantage of half slabs is it uses half the number of blocks. Because each three of those will make six half slabs. Hmm, actually, I'm thinking I probably do want one there, don't I? Um, the reason for the half slabs is I don't want Enderman to spawn on this building at all, so... I actually do want want them everywhere. How does the height of this compare to where the portal is? It's gonna have it's gonna have to go up a bit, isn't it? Oh, wow. I thought you needed a piston to get that off. All I did was punch it. Has that changed? All I did was punch it, and it flew all the way over there. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> um, right, let's put a... let's cap this with a half slab. And then that will give me the height I want for here. Probably going out as far as there. Yeah, could you go away? Right, staircase, staircase. Hmm. What would it look like if there was a staircase piece there? And then another one? And then obviously we're going to get rid of that and that. Yeah, that doesn't work. Hmm. I, 
think I do need to staircase up direct from the side, don't I? Let's get rid of you. Um, I'm almost tempted to put a half slab here first, but then the half slab would have to be at the top. And things can spawn on half slabs in that position. So what if I just go with two sets of stairs and then half slab? How does that feel for headroom? That works. Hmm, so I need a lot more stairs and some half slabs, though not as many as I thought. I've half slabbed around the sides already. So how many half slabs do I need here in the middle? Let's start with that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, out. Make sure this is square. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I think I might actually leave that hollow. Maybe I could put uh, glass in or something later. I mean, it's not, it's not like it ever rains here in the end. Okay, we need a lot more staircases. Let's see how, how far that will get us. Hmm. I don't think I've got the update yet that means stairs will actually turn corners properly. So for now, that's going to have to stay looking ugly. Could put a half slab in. I'll just have to um, chop out and redo the stair once I actually get the, ne uh, the next update in. I might give another go with, uh, with snapshots, see if I can work out what, what went wrong last time. I'm actually out of stone blocks right now, so I'm going to have to take the trip back again. Oh, hang on. No, yep. Um, I'm going to take the dragon egg with me and put that somewhere safe. Okay. Um, I've been cooking up a lot more smooth stone and stone, so I do have more. I've also got some ready-made stairs here. Um... There we go, I may as well bring back the entire supply. Let's not repeat the same mistake we made last time. Make sure we're fully breaded up before we come in here, in case one of these guys takes a, an irrational hatred to me. Okay. More stairs. It just occurred to me that I've got a high ceiling in here, so they still might teleport in. Hmm. I'm not quite sure how I could avoid that.
Okay, this will do for now. Um, I don't think anyone can spawn in here, but they can teleport in. I'm not quite sure what I can do to avoid that. Uh, get a bit more light in here. I've got a half slab over this half of it. Get rid of that. Um, and the sides as well. So the idea is, is that that's the way if I want to go back. And then this is going to be the way up. What coordinate are we at? Um, okay, so this is a Y of 63. So I want to go 128 up from here. Um, feet position 63. So this is just two up. One, two. Yeah. This is two up and that's two and a half up, so let's put stuff away. Alright. So I take that out. I've taken that one out. Um, I need to temporarily pill pillar up. But I need the stuff to pillar up with. So, stone block, stone block, minus two. So those two, plus the two there, should bring me up to 128 above the ground level. And then I want something to make a bit of flooring up there. So let's make sure I bring plenty of this. I want a nice solid floor beneath me to help avoid accidents during construction. And the ladders. Ladders are temporarily how I will get up and down. Ah, we're now at a height of 68. Should have taken that into account in my calculation. So, um, actually nothing can spawn in here, can it? I've put plenty of light around and that's all half slabs. Where's the highest bit of ground? Not counting the top of those towers. So yeah, so I want it I want it to be 128 above 63. Which means this is 63, 68. This is five up already. So those two are the height I need. Okay, entity count, zero, there we go. So if I build my spawning platforms above here, then it will be the only place in the entire world anything can spawn, and so I won't need that many levels. So um, I'm now all turned around and I have no idea, I was going to um, drop down into the portal or start putting ladders down. But I'm now so turned around I've no idea which which side is which. So I'm probably going to have to suicide off this thing. Um, let's build our platform. Do it eight off, eight off in each direction. That seems reasonable. I want to make sure this is lit. Otherwise Endermen are going to start spawning.
Okay, so I've got a nice little platform here. Uh, there'll be a way up somewhere here, and somewhere else there'll be the way down. And then I've got these different quadrants, so I can have uh, one area can be a storage room, you know, a little storage room. One area can be a little enchanting area. And then I can either have um, half of it or a quarter of it being the actual spawner. You know, basically where the enemy will drop and wait for me to punch and kill them. Because um, in general it's going to be used as an XP farm as well as to get myself um, all the enderpearls. Because enderpearls are very useful. For example, if I had an enderpearl right now, I could throw one down there and I wouldn't have to jump jump to my death right now. Um, I'm also kind of wishing that I had a chest up here so I could put my more valuable items in. I don't think I'll accidentally hit the void, but um, it's always possible and I've got like all my best stuff on me right now. Okay, well, there's nothing for it. Um, I'm wondering if I should take off my feather, feather falling boots because there's no way they're going to help me survive this. Well, I don't know. Fe feather falling four. Hmm. Feather falling four from a height of 191. Very unlikely. Ah! Water. Water, of course. I will make myself a water elevator. Uh, the Endermen down there are not going to like this. So we give that a chance to start flowing. Then we take it away and drop in. And we just have to, have to make sure that we don't get below the level of the water. But I get the sword out as well, because there might be a lot of annoyed endermen at the bottom of all this. Get ready with the ladders. So for now, I'm just going to put ladders, um, a ladder up one side there. But the idea is, is that um, I'm going to construct myself um, the Minecraft elevator. Like I have in um, my other cloud, cloud spawner. So the idea is, is that I'll be able to walk in here, come up to here, and then I'll ride the Minecraft elevator all the way to the top. And when I want to come back, I'll get in on the opposite side up there. And that will drop me down straight into that portal. So for now, we need a manual way up and down, because that's going to help us construct things. I should have enough ladders. I had a full stack of 64 plus 62, and this wasn't quite the full 128. There we go. Okay, um, I'll add the quick drop mechanism and the minecart elevator, and then we can get on with working out the design here. Now, the main thing I need to know is how far to drop them. Um, I suppose I want a switch on this, so I can make, you know, so I can... I've got room, haven't I? Yeah, 191 map is 256 up. So, I think Endermen have slightly more health than normal mobs. Normal mobs I would drop 24 if I wanted to make them killed, and maybe 23 if I wanted them to be one-punch kills. I, but I need to know the exact amount that I need to drop Endermen, uh, both to just kill them, and so at a flick of a switch, uh, some pistons can push up. Uh, reduce the distance dropped by one, and then turn it into an XP farm instead. So they can be nicely trapped somewhere and I can just walk up and punch them. I'm probably going to have to protect areas and stuff with water, otherwise the Endermen are going to start teleporting out of um, the XP cage. They won't be able to teleport back down to the ground because it's too far away, but basically here, 
I'm going to have to make sure that there's nowhere higher than two that they can walk. And the top of this thing is probably going to have to be covered in water. But that's one of the reasons why I've got uh, the buckets with me. So while we're up here, let's just make ourselves our infinite water spring. Ready for when we need it. So that's it for today. I'll see you next time once the uh, elevators and everything are built. And we can start getting, you know, actually getting into the nitty gritty of up there. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.